It's the AL Central taking on the East. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Boston Red Sox. It's the MLB on 2K Sports. Is this man going to bring luck today? John Lackey will go to the mound looking for the W. Glad to have you join us about a month ago, regular season MLB 2K Sports. Fenway Park, a night game, the home of the Red Sox. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? John Lackey has an assortment of quality pitches. That fastball that he can command anywhere in the strike zone. The ability to expand the zone with his breaking stuff and a feel for the changeup. That assortment of pitches makes him very tough to hit. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzy Gian's got going. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, you take a look at Alexi Ramirez. He's one of the more exciting players in baseball. Finally got moved to his more natural position, shortstop. And I tell you what, this is a guy that can excite you in a lot of ways. He can hit for power. He can hit for average. And he's not a big guy, but I tell you what, he can generate some power in that frame. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. One game after another, they really do not seem stoppable right now. They're just piling up the W's. Well, you know what I think of their chances? This confidence high right now, the way they've been playing, there's no team in baseball that can handle this team. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. And the way they're playing right now, unstoppable is the word. They just feel they can beat anybody. Well, and they absolutely should when you're playing as well as they can. They don't think that there's any team in baseball that can compete with them. On the ground to short. Scooter rope. And so Damon retired. Here's a look at how the Red Sox will line up defensively. Particular standouts here, Steve? A lot of times you see Dustin Pedroia with dirt on his uniform, and you see it because of his defense. He's diving all over the field trying to make plays. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. The pitch from Lackey. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Well, listen, the one thing with a good sinker ball, a pitcher can be aggressive, and he's aggressive with his. He really could be a one-pitch pitcher with, just with his sinker. Oh. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez is going to have to protect now. And you really love having a sinker baller like this, Steve, on your staff to eliminate that home run ball. Well, it also allows him to, to log in. And it's not real taxing. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a cake. Well, textbook way of pitching. Three pitches, three strikes. Outstanding command during that at-bat. And Paul Canerco to bat. Well, I got a chance to drive one out of the ballpark in that last ball game for him. And I think with that, they got to think about getting somebody on in front of them because it looks like the power is coming. Right Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. And here's the pitch. Now swinging a shot toward second. With two down, and he's got a man on board. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Swings at that fastball and misses 0-1. Well, it's tough to tell a hitter to stay back on a fastball, but this is what he needs to do. He's jumping out, trying to get to it, and just way out in front. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. I was an offensive machine last time out, a hitting clinic with four base hits in his last game. Hit hard to second. And they tag him out between first and second. Good work there. John Lackey works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And the Red Sox getting ready to start this one off. Take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. John, what do you think his strategy is going against this Boston lineup? Well, coming off an injury-filled season in 2009, Jake Peavy's going to look to rebound. He has a fastball in the mid to upper 90s that he throws from a three-quarter delivery, a great slider, and a great changeup. He's a power pitcher who strikes people out, and when healthy, he's one of the best in baseball.
And he starts Ellsbury out. First pitch a sinker in there. 0 and 1. Career number 411 off the White Sox. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Good eye there. Jacoby Ellsbury lays off at the even the count. Last night a win for the Red Sox. That series was split going into game three, so they pulled ahead going two and one against the Orioles in Baltimore. We're looking away at this club has been playing. They won six of their last ten ball games, and they've done it with great execution. Swing and a line in a right center. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. He takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact. And he got it. Runner on here for Dustin Pedroia. He's in his fifth MLB year. On the way. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 1. Well, Power was there for him in the game last night, hit a home run. We'll see if he can take advantage of some mistake pitches today. Here it comes. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. One down. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup for the Red Sox. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, if you're looking for someone to have fun in games out there in this game today, don't look for Dustin Pedroia. This is a guy that is dead serious on the baseball field. Rarely will you see a smile, but he's been a rookie of the year and he's been an MVP. So you know that when he's out there, he's playing to win, and more likely than not, he will find a way to beat you. Now Kevin Euclid's batting with a runner on first. That's a strike. PB gets it by him. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, oh, he didn't swing. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. Euclid's a dangerous 0-2 hitter, though. A big contribution offensively for him last night, driving in three runs. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Now a quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Are you keeping an eye on anyone? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And it's Victor Martinez at the plate. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at-bat for strike one. And you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Here's the delivery. Hit sharply down the line. And there's Tian for the third out. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. Still scoreless in Boston. Five, six, seven hitters to get things started. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Beckham's in the box. Big time offensive production last game out there. Three RBIs in that one. And I think some real momentum coming into this game. Smash towards the hole. And Euclid pulls it in. Now the teams that have been finding their way on base. Our state farm leaderboard on base percentage for the last ten. The White Sox number one. Second the Blue Jays. Third the Mariners. Fourth, the Twins. And at number five, it's the Angels. And Alex Rios up. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. All in one. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, is somebody they've really come to rely upon. A swing, a ball hit high, deep into right field. Come on, that's a dinger. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a 1-0 lead. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. 
One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. Swing and a high drive. Hooking into the corner. Out of here, a home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 20. One out, nobody on. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Well, that's a great pitch right there. That hard sinker. He just can't catch up. Takes a swipe on that pitch in the dirt. Not sure if he saw that. Strike three, Mark T and Pot looking. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four seam fastball in K Cam. Yeah, well, you don't want to get caught looking at a fastball like that. They set him up beautifully with the change of speed, but you still think he'd be able to at least try and take a hack. It's all over, Jim. Two outs and nobody on. Grounder up by Beltre. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Good start offensively. We get the first two runs of the game coming here in the second. The White Sox lead it two to nothing. Middle of the lineup, do up. Mike Cameron will lead it off. Center fielder, number 24, Mike Cameron. And that swung on and hit. Rios. One away. Make sure to catch this one next Tuesday. A road game for the Rays. They take their game to Boston to challenge the Red Sox at Fenway. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. And Adrian Beltre stands in. One out. Bases empty. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Lays off a called strike, 0 and 1. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. And Adrian Beltre looks at that one for a ball, it'll even it up. Swinging and a miss, and it's now 1 and 2. Strike three, Adrian Beltre. He got caught looking and he's out of there. It's the best pitch in baseball. The fastball down and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. He's successful. Base is empty with two outs. There's a strike at the knees on one. Let's see if he can make some adjustments in the game today. He struck out twice last night and got fooled at the plate. So he's got to wait a little bit longer. A swing line to left center. And Hermida's got himself a base hit. That's going to bring up Jason Berger. And now a chance to see where the Red Sox sit in the American League rankings. Second batting average with runners in scoring position. Second at ERA. And they're the number two team in home runs. That ability to drive themselves in when they walk up to the plate. Great power in this lineup. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. The pitch. That's a strike and it's 0 and 2. Time for Veritech to protect here. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. On the ground to short, and Ramirez feels the ball. 
Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Solid outing moves on here. Jake Peavy. He emerges from the first two innings on scale. And it'll be the White Sox. Night air surrounding us here at Fenway and the sounds of Boston downtown in the distance. And so Johnny Damon leads it off right there in the top five and home runs. And Martinez sets up his target. Drilled towards the hole. And Euclid pulls it in. So let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the runs scored, you give yourself a chance to win. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored, top five. Sharp curveball, swung on and missed, 0 and 1. And the 0-1 by Lackey. Now swing and a shot toward second. And so Ramirez retired. Nice easy soft ground ball to second. Doesn't have any trouble all that one. And retires him at first base. And it's Paul Canerco now. He's the league leader in ribbies. Two outs, space is empty. And he starts Canerco out. Third ball swung on and missed. Now it's 0-1. The pitch from Lackey got the bat on it. Cameron's there. This one to Ellsbury. That one's grabbed. Side retired. So John Lackey gets him one, two, three. Now it's time to move on to the home half of the third. On camera, we get a look at Terry Francona. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. Ground ball headed for the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. Retiring Scudero. Routine ground ball is short. He makes it look routine. Retires another. And it's Jacoby Ellsbury at the plate. And he steals off and he gets away with it. He's one of the league's best. Nobody on base. One away. And he starts Ellsbury out. Runs up to Bunt, gets this one down. Peavy. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. That'll bring up Dustin Pedroia. Last time up, blew up. One out man on first. First count on Pedroia. Here it comes. Nope, that one not in there. Peavy missing. The 1-0 pitch. Hit on the ground towards second. He plays it on the hop. One. And they get two. Great double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Still unable to score. Boston still a zero. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. On one. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Here's the delivery. Should have let that one go by. Hits the dirt, but it's a strike on a swing. Pitch on the way. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And it gets down. The streak is on. Here's Quentin stretching it. Now I'll break it down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark, a major power threat every time he comes to the plate. Second base occupied, nobody out yet. And they almost got him that time.
Now the first pitch. Blackie's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. The pitch. There's a ball. Hit well. A high drive deep into center field. This one's off the wall. And that's going to plate Alex Rios. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And he starts Rios out. Blackie's pitch swung on and missed. On one. Well, he was way behind on that one. Must have been looking for something else. Here's the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. I well, got a chance to drive one out of the ballpark. Nobody on base, and... I think with that, they got to think about getting somebody on in front of them because it looks like the power is coming. And it's going to be Cameron. He comes up with it easily here. And the runners will have to stay put, second and third. Here's a look at the lineups making noise over the past month. Our State Farm League leader board. The White Sox, number one. The Orioles in second. Third, the Mariners. Fourth, the Royals. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Uh, some of the better offensive teams right here, Gary. Guys that really can put the ball in play. It speaks to the length and depth of the lineup to hit for that kind of batting average. This one has popped up to the left side out of play. And the 0-1 by Lackey. Swings, hits this one very high in the air. A soaring drive. That'll be off the green monster out there in left. And Quinton's home. Now and the White back. Sox, they the just Chicago keep White rolling. Sox, third baseman, number 25, Mark Tian. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. He pays for it. Runners on second and third, one down. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Here's a curveball, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. He has a 286 batting average against John Lackey. Line down the right field line, but a foul ball. The pitch from Lackey. Swung on, line to right field. And it's in there, so Tian knocks in the run. Now Openings for this lineup Chicago offensively, White. don't give it Designated to them now, because they are hot. Jim Tillman. Statistics say that the 0-2 count by far is an advantage for the pitcher. But in this situation, he fought off a tough pitch and slapped the base hit. Great job on that at bat. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. This ball is hammered deep right. Now it's two away. And that'll hold the runners at the corners. Now coming Let's take a peek at the league's State Farm sponsored leaderboard for RBI. All of these guys have one thing in common. With the game on the line with runners on base, they come through in the clutch and deliver and drive in the big runs. And it's Johnny Damon. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. He is hacking at the ground on that one. That ball is a strike. And the 0 1 by Lackey. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. Oh, and he's got it over to first base, and they get the out. Now, great catching. He's earning his money behind the plate today, chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it, and getting the runner out just in time. That could be a great way to start the offense if you can get a runner like that on, because that's really a steal when you do. The inning complete for John Lackey. He's pitching well, just two runs allowed over four. He just needs some run support right now. 
And the Red Sox coming up next. Kevin Youthless leading it off. First baseman, number 20, Kevin Youthless. Here's the first delivery to Euclid. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Oh, Look, okay, Gary, the way this is going so far in the fourth, I mean, they do have three hits. Uh, so they've had a couple of base runners, but I think that because they're not mounting hit after hit, they may have to put some plays on to get the runners moving. Still 0-2. Now Przinski sets up. You're up. And he cannot pull the trigger on that. Kevin Euclid striking out. Here's the slider coming right at you in KK. Get a better look at that. A nice choice on the setup and then the strikeout pitch. That was just plain dirty. Boy, you're giving the off-speed stuff to finish the job. You make the hitter feel bad. A movement like that following another off-speed pitch is so tough to adjust to. The batter had no clue which way the ball was going to break. Called strike, and Peavy's got him on one. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one. Now. That's a strike, and it's 0-2, and Martinez now will go into protecting that zone. See if he can't continue what he did last night when he picked up a couple hits. Just get him to golf at that one, but he lays off, and uh, one, two count. Wow, he had some good fight on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Rios will field. And he meanders over to put it away. Let's look at the Central Division standings courtesy of State Farm. We begin the final stretch. It's the White Sox in first. Second place, the Royals. In third, the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making this all look silly. We've got Mike Cameron in the box. A career 267 number off Jake Peavy. Hot shot towards the hole. And the tag is a blind side retire. Three up, three down for Jake Peavy. Through four at Fenway. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Guillen. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. One of the best batting averages in the league. Picked up by Euclid. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bat. Now State Farm brings you the teams leading the way in extra base hits for the month. The White Sox, number one. Blue Jays in second. In third, the A's. Rangers four and at number five oh, it's the man. Angels first pitch here it comes right one. Blackie's pitch swung on and missed on one I pulled the string on that curveball took a little bit off and had him way out in front nice reflexes there to keep that one under control that one was in the dirt here's the pitch and here's a swing and a miss. He couldn't get that one. One and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a breaking ball. Two down. Well, this one was running down the way, but even if he didn't swing it, it might have still caught the corner. Yeah, John, that pitch was pretty perfectly placed. Nothing you can do about it. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. He's the league leader in hits. First pitch to Quinton. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Shot towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Well, that was a quick inning right there. Seven pitches. White Sox four. Boston nothing. 
if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Cole. And it's Adrian Beltre to lead us off. First one to Beltre. Here's the pitch. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunity and see if they can't capitalize on it. That's a strike and an 0-2 count. And Beltre now, be careful of the K. Let's see if they go right at him or if they're going to waste the pitch. They're way ahead right now. It's hit foul by Beltre. Sweet strike, Brandon. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And the cut fastball's in there. Strike three, one away. Big, big break on this pitch. He clocks in at 89 miles per hour. That's a lot of break for that hard a pitch. That pitch certainly not lacking movement, John. Well, it's controlled movement, and that's why he's able to throw it so effectively to catch guys looking like he did in that at bat. Fresh count on Hermida. Here it comes. Nope, that one not in there. Peavy missing. Here's the 1 0. It's now one ball, one strike. You watch that fastball that was in there. Well, they set up down and away, they throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Oh! And it's fouled off. The 1 2 on its way. And Jeremy Hermida watching that one for strike three. That's impressive breaking action right there in an 87 mile an hour pitch. Well, that ball just sailed up and away from the hitter. I think he was looking for something a little bit outside. Yeah, he just did catch the outside corner. Probably should have tried to dive at that pitch and hit it the other way. Base is empty and two down. First pitch on the way, Veritek. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. And there's Quentin for out number three. No runs, no hits, nobody across the plate. And Beckham's in the box. He's ready to start out here in the sixth inning. A smash to first. And that's out number one stepping on the back. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. Top five AL in runs scored. The pitch from Lackey. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Just a solid offensive player, day in and day out. The guy that uh, really could deliver for this offense. Right two. That's a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Time for Rios now to protect. The hitter's got to protect the outer part of the plate right here, down 0 2. Swung on, missed, curveball, struck him out, two down. He's fooling the hitters all day long, Gary. That's his fifth strikeout on the big curveball. Going to be Brzezinski. Not an RBI double this last time. Two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch. This one's grounded near third. Foul. John Lackey delivers the strike. He's in charge. 0 and 2. Uh, just out in front of that sinker, and he comes up empty. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. And it's going to be Cameron. That'll do it as they put that one away. Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. And the Red Sox coming up next. We can see Terry Francona looking on. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. And we're going to see Scudero here. And the first pitch. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. But only one runner left on base. And, you know, we're. Line softly to center field. 
And that's going to be a base hit for Scudero. And that'll bring up Jacoby Ellsbury. Now State Farm brings us the Eastern Division standings here as we get into September. In that first spot, it's the Red Sox. In second place, the Yankees. Orioles third place. Fourth spot, the Rays. And it's the Blue Jays last. Now, once again, the Boston Red Sox on top of their game, playing solid, consistent baseball day in and day out. Now, that's why they're sitting atop of the American League East once again. But there's not many guys who can walk and be a factor in a game. If Jacoby Ellsbury gets on base, he is an absolute threat and a menace to the opposition. He's a guy that can steal a ton of bases, and he loves running. And that's the thing. A lot of guys can run, but they don't like to steal bases. Ellsbury's not one of those guys. He loves getting dirty, stealing second, stealing third. But he puts himself in scoring position for his team. He gets across the plate. He leads the entire division and runs. You're out. Slider called third strike out number one. Well, clearly the slider is working today. He's working the corners, getting that late movement, getting a lot of strikeouts on the slider today. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Here's a great chance for Boston. Number 20. With runners at first and second, it'll be Kevin Euclid coming up. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Here's the first delivery to Euclid. He swings and nails a liner. And in there, Boston for a run. Boston, what offensive production right now. Number 41, Victor Martinez. Opposite field hitting. It is a classic piece of baseball. Especially on that inside pitch. It keeps the defense off guard when you can muscle the inside pitch to right field. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. Out number two. Now batting for the Boston Red Sox. Center fielder. Number 24. Okay, Gary, Mike Cameron coming up here in a tough situation. He has power and speed. We'll see how that plays into this at bat. His batting average, lifetime, 310 against the White Sox. He sends this one in the airport center. That'll do it as they put that one away. And Jake Beebe is heading in. He has the one run given up over six and some run support to boot. The White Sox are out in front, four to one. Martin leading it up. Single home a run in his last at bat. Number 25, Mark Tien. The pitch from Lackey. Check swing there. They say he went around. They're going to appeal to third. Just a bit too aggressive. That strike's going to hold up. He deals. And he swings and hits this one foul. And he fouls off another one. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. You're out. And Tian swings and misses strike three. Well, this punch out right here will keep this game close as it gets later and later. Took only four pitches on that at bat to get him out of there. And not a quality at bat right there. He didn't make the pitcher work. He got out of there quickly. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. On one. Oh, look at that big 12 to 6 breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch for any hitter to stay back on. Out in front, swinging oh. early. Swings and grounds this one foul wide of third. Sinker swung on, missed. That's now, out number two. Gary, he's getting that hard boring sinking action on that pitch today. Getting guys to swing over the top. Two strikeouts in a row. First pitch on the way to Damon. There's a swing towards the hole. And that's the third out. Beltre grabs it. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. It's seventh inning stretch time in Boston. 
There's a familiar face. Eyes again looking up. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And it drops. The base hit. Late season baseball. Here's what the White Sox have coming up. Sunday, they wrap up the Boston series. And they'll be off to take on the Tigers in that bout of Maglio Ordonez. Team that beat them pretty good in the last series. That'll be Monday through Thursday. Then they get a home series against the Royals. That's a team that's been really putting it all together lately. And it's Jeremy Hermida now. One for two in the ballgame. Fresh count on Hermida. Here it comes. Ball strike. And PB's got him on one. Oh, nine outs to go right now and, and leading by three. I mean, I think you have to start throwing strikes. Just go at the hitters. Force them to put in play. Do not give them free passes. Here it comes. And Jeremy Hermida watching that one for strike three. So you take a look at the pitch sequence right there. Three straight quality strikes. Well, tight games like this, uh, you get going late. You love to get these outs as quickly as you can. Well, quickly and efficiently. And the best way to do it is a strikeout. No room for error right there. Gets the big one on three pitches. First pitch on the way. Very tight. That's a strike. BB gets it by him. Offensively now they've got to start to work the count. They've got to try to get base runners on and get things going here. I mean, you've got one out here in the seventh inning. It's not too late to try to make up some of this deficit. Swing and a foul straight back. Swung and a ground ball to third. And Veritek retired. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that. You have to have great body control to play this game. And he certainly sewed it there. And he got him. A lot riding on Marco Scudero's at bat right here. You can see the determination in his face. He singled in his last at bat. Well, with the outstanding speed at second base right here. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that gets through. The time run will come for bat. And Beltre will score. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that, Ivan, is the discipline to keep the head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down in the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. And here's Jacoby Ellsberg. You get a feeling watching them, they're feeling comeback fever, Steve, going on here. Well, they're narrowing the lead late here in the game, Gary, and they're showing some fight left in those bats. And he starts Ellsbury out. Swung on and missed. PB getting it by. And what you hope when you get a hit like that is that maybe you've got momentum starting to come your way because the game's not over. Well, you know what? They've got momentum going their way, and if they could just find a hole somewhere, find a way to manufacture a run, they could turn it all the way around. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Boston, now they're trying to put some pressure on and cut into that lead. Batters two through four coming right up. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And it's going to be Ramon Ramirez on the mound. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. When you can bring an arm like Ramon Ramirez is in in the middle innings, you know you have a very good bullpen. Here's a guy that throws a fastball in the low to mid 90s. He has a great changeup and a great breaking ball. And the fact that he doesn't give up a lot of walks means to tell you that he's not afraid to throw it in the strike zone. Fouled off that first pitch, Owen won the count. Here's the delivery. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. I've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. I think the pitcher had him fooled on this one all the way through, John. He wasn't expecting that outside corner delivery. So he just pulled the string on that pitch, and that's good, good stuff right there. One out, nobody on. And he starts Canerco out. Swings and misses the good change right there. 0 and 1. Well, just an unbelievably poor swing against that changeup right there. No wonder he missed it. With that strike, Ramirez out in front now 0-2. And, and 
Hit hard on the ground to short. That's the second out. Let's take a moment to view the league's leading home run hitters from our State Farm leaderboard. Boy, it's such an asset to an offense when you hit the ball out of the ballpark, and these guys are clearly so important to their team. That ability to drive in a run from first base or to drive yourself in from the plate. And here's the first one. Swings and misses the splitter. 0-1. Well, he's definitely looking for something else right there. That pitch fooled him, and he swung early. Hit in the air. And it's going to be Cameron. And that's the third out. That'll do it. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. And uh, here come the Red Sox. Going to be the home half of the eighth. And the dugout the shot of Terry Francona. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. First count on Pedroia. Here it comes. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. Uh, clearly getting very late here in the ball game. And, you know, the game's getting short, so you've got to look to play for a big inning. You've got your down by two. See what you can do. Get an opportunity to take advantage. You don't know if you're going to get it done to the ninth. Try to get it done right here. And it holds at 0-2. He delivers. Pedroia will foul that one away. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled yeah. off will keep this at bat going. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Couldn't make a better two-strike pitch right there. He's working well with the catcher, hitting his spot, powering that fastball down and away. Base is empty with one away. Here's the first delivery to Euclid. Swing and a shot to third. Two away. The staff's issuing the fewest free passes. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Royals second. Third, the Mariners. The Twins fourth. And it's the Yankees, number five. Will you ask any manager and any pitching coach in baseball the one thing they really hate to see and that's putting guys on base without having to swing the bat. Well this team ground ball to short fielded by Ramirez throws to first side is retired. Not a lot of action in this half inning nothing on the White Sox maintaining their lead. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Beckham's in the box. And here's the first one. Swings a little early that time, 0 1. But you got to be a little more patient. Wait for that thing to get in the hitting zone before you try to swing. Way too early on that. Up the middle. Now we can take a moment, brought to you by State Farm, to take a look at the league leaders in triple. I'll tell you what, Speed put so much pressure on the defense, and these guys can certainly do that as they force the other team to quickly make decisions and make plays and try to shut down a running game. And he starts Rio, so him to fish for that one, nothing in one. Here's the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Here's the pitch. And he strikes on Alex Rios. What a great pitch that was. Boy, uh, those strikeouts so important coming late in the ball game. Keeps that confidence up. And they tell you that strikeouts add to the pitch count, but a three-pitch strikeout right there, he can go forever on that one. And the first pitch. Or something off, and it swung on and missed. 0-1. 0 for 4 lifetime against Ramirez. And that's a strike. A.J. Krasinski now behind him the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Boy, I tell you what, you throw a cutter with that velocity, that's a great pitch. You understand why the hitter swung late. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. 
Struck him out on three pitches. That gets it done in a hurry. Uh, efficient and in control. When you have those two things working for you, you're going to get it done. Now here is Mark Tia. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a line drive. Roll in time forces him at second for the third out. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. White Sox four, Red Sox two. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gian. He's got his club where he wants. Two insurance runs and hoping to close this one out. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Sliders in there, no balls and a strike. Uh, pitching wise, you want to make them earn it, force them to get a base hit right here, force them to put it in play, throw strikes. A liner headed for the hole. That gets down. The tying run coming up. Late throw, he's on at first. I mean, well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts off this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. Here is Adrian Beltre. First one to Beltre. Here's the pitch. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. And it's in there. The tying run on board. Well, all pitchers are taught to keep the ball down in the strike zone. Not too many hitters can go down and get one right there in that particular spot. But this guy absolutely loves that pitch. That's why he's on base. Now I'm going to keep an eye and see how aggressive they're going to be to try to get back in this game. Speed out there at second base. Let's see if they put a potential double steal on them. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. Outstanding pitch right here. Great, great, great movement on this pitch to get the strike down and in. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. And Hermita looks at that one for a ball to even the count. And here's the pitch. Smash towards the middle. Picks it up. One. Now up to the first and safe at first. Close play. Not quite enough time to get it. Well, what I'm here in the ninth inning, they still need two. So they need to get people on an advanced base runner. Do what they have to do to get runners in scoring position and hope they run into that clutch base hit game. One out with runners at first and second. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. Chicago is ready to try and close this one out. Well, if you can get a start like this every time out from your starting pitcher, you're going to take it. He kept you in the ball game, pitched pretty well, and now turns it over to the bullpen. Runners on first and second with one out. First pitch to him. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. And Jason Veritek looks at that one for a ball. He's even to count. His career averaged 257 lifetime off the white side. Call fastball. Now the count one and two. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw. You're out. Fastball oh, in there, struck him out at number two. That's a big second out right there, holding on to a slim lead. Now he's got a chance to get out of this thing without any major trouble. A lot riding on Marco Scudero's at bat right here. You can see the determination in his face. Two for three thus far. And a fly ball could be the last out. And he's on the potential winning run. Get ready. And Beltre will score. Oh, the comeback continues. Right Big hit right there. Now it's just within one run. This one's not over just yet. And here's Jacoby Ellsberg. Well, this could very well be their last shot. Possible tying and winning runs on base. He just needs to concentrate on putting it in play and hitting it hard. Doing it with two down. Swing and a fly ball, and this might be it. Damon. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. 
During close games, you have to make the plays at critical junctures. That's what the White Sox did today, and it led them to victory. Now we award our Pepsi Clutch performer a terrific mound game, the work of Jake Peters. Well, you know, Gary, there's no way you can win baseball games without great starting pitching, and he came through in this one with the most important performance of the game, and that's basically the definition of what it takes to be the Pepsi Clutch performer of the game. And they come into hostile territory, Steve, and take this one by one run. Well, both teams had a chance to win. It goes down to the very end, but the visiting club outplayed them. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crock, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball. Today.